Hello, I'm using user forms to interact with users in Microsoft Excel and I decided to make a form similar to right pane of Microsoft Excel. Normally we are using this pane for many things. As far as I know, there is no way to customize this form. So to make a similar form. Okay, this is the file I created before for the sticky buttons and shapes video. Now I will use this Excel file. Okay, first I'm going to create a user form. Alt F11, right click, insert, user form. This is our user form and name will be user form 1. Dimension is not, not important, we will arrange this. Okay. We will do mini test, so I will put a button to trigger the form. Here. Name is not important, yes. Okay. I'm going to write the code for open the user form. It's very simple. User form one dot show. But at the beginning I will add another code. User form one dot hide. This will make our tests more efficient. So if it is open, if the form is open, first it will hide and then show again. Let's test it. Button 3. Closing. Button 3. We cannot push again. The form is set to model. Now change this property first. Use the form 1. Show model to false. Now it's working, closing the form and open again. Okay, let's continue to properties, user form. Okay, back color is, it will be similar to the right pane. Now I'm, I'm changing the back color. Okay. Now, border, no border, four color is not important. Special effect etched, behavior, okay, enabled, yes, right to left, false, show model, false, font is okay, name, user form, I don't know what it is, okay, mouse icon, tag, what's this, continue, no picture position okay position is important and set top property is zero startup position also important should be manual i'm going to create vba module and paste my code alt f11 we have two modules here that we created for the previous video I'm going to add a new module, insert module, the name will be right pane. You may review the codes and download it from our website, the link in the description. On the right pane, I'm pasting the code. This will set our form dimensions and locations. I'm going to paste to hide title module. This will remove the title of the user form. And the final one, the third group of the code, I'm going to paste into the user form module. We have two main modules, hide from title. This will hide the title bar of the form. The important part is here. Set right form. I'm going to put a breakpoint here and push the button. Okay, minimum minimum form width is 100. It's coming from the exact limitation. This will our start point of the form. Closing the 
vertical scroll bar we will open later now moving width is a dynamic number of the form dimension we will change one by one when the form is opening target left is the final left position of the form calculate selected calculates by using active window left and active window width minus user form width let me show what is this i'm moving the excel window okay active window left is here from here to here plus active window width from here to here minus user form width this means our form the left final left position over here the initialize code is running these are common numbers you can get from the system setting the range and calculate the exact position by looping the opening panes now at the end in the top is top point plus one user form height coming from active window usable height property moving width coming from the minimum form width which was 100 uh, this will dynamic number for our form uh, width starting left it's coming the same formula active window left and active window width minus minimum form width loop starts starting left to target left step minus one and moving width is increased by one and user form move command is moving to form and also we are changing to the width of the form at the first step of the loop user form show command is here and next now look here our form is our form is here i continue to move forward step by step so our form is moving like that until the uh, until the target left number hit f5 our form is open unload form load form we can add closing animation but i will add some controls on the form to make it similar i'm opening the formal shape for first and put the visual basic window near to it okay Now I will add some control, it is very easy. Put a label here. For the shape name, the name is important. So we can call from our call. 
screen share for That's the height. Go to the buttons, macro, set form. So TXT brings us the active shape name. So with active shape names, Okay, it's finished. Let's check. Closing format shape. Closing the original. Closing the pane. Okay, select the shape and hit the load button. Oops. Select the shape and hit load button. As you see, now we can see the right pane, similar to exact right pane, and we can use for our interaction. Select another shape, unload and load, dangle 7. Another shape. At the end, we created a form similar to right pane, and we can interact with the users more efficiently with this form. I hope it will be useful for you. Thank you.